Hold on, can the band help us out one more time here? You guys ready? All right, this time it's for real We've now. We've got it. I believe we have it. The others, we were just kidding. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, our host from UTSA, Dr. Ricardo Romo. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to UTSA. Welcome to our college signing day. We got a lot of special guests here today, but I want you all to know all of you are special in our minds. Now today, it is about you. It's about your decision to go to college. It's also a historic day for UTSA because we welcome First Lady Michelle Obama, who's going to join us shortly. <clears throat> I have the great pleasure of introducing two great Texans, two individuals committed to education, committed to our welfare. They're Erica and Julian Castro, Mayor Castro and Erica. There they are. <clears throat> Erica gets to wait twice because she has two degrees from UTSA. And in a minute, I'm going to introduce you to Mayor Julian Castro, who earned degrees from Stanford and Harvard Law, a native of San Antonio, a graduate of Jefferson High School. He's coming up in a minute. I think if anything we can determine is that education has been the key to Mayor's success. Elected to the City Council age 26, elected mayor three times, 09, 11, and 13. Today he is recognized as one of America's great mayors, one of America's best mayors. Let's give it a hand, for, and we'll, he's coming up. I need to say a few things about him. So what makes him so great? What makes him great is that he has a vision. He's got an action plan. He's got strategies. He's got ideas. He's got implementation. He is really working hard for the betterment of our community. And therefore, he created SA 2020, which is about job creations, about well-being, about good health in our community. One of his great achievements is pre-K for SA. Kids, that, kids who ought to, ought to, if you're four years old and younger, you ought to start, high, you ought to start school so you get ready for, for later on in education, and later on they're going to go to Cafe College. So you begin at for age four, and then you end up at Cafe College signing up for college. And that's what he does. And he does it not only by talking about it, but also by visiting schools. He has given us the gift of his time, the gift of positive engagement. He's also a great friend of higher education for UTSA. He is a creative thinker. He came up with some ideas of how to partner CPS CPS with $50 million grants for UTSA in energy development. About 10 days ago, we celebrated here in our campus a gift of a million dollars from Microsoft that's going to partner with us. It was a mayor's idea to bring Microsoft to UTSA and get them to commit money for us to create jobs and to talk about supplies of energy. Now, you know that he's got a national presence. He's a recognized leader. He's the first Hispanic keynote speaker for the Democratic Convention. He's a speaker in demand. Time Magazine, 40 under 40. 40 leaders in the whole country under age of 40. He was recognized by Time. I'm proud to call him my good friend. He's an outstanding individual, devoted to service. He's a caring individual, got a lot of compassion. Best part about it, he's my Facebook buddy. He's family-oriented. He brings his family to the UTSA football games. I love him for that. Thank you, Mayor. All right, so let's bring on an individual who is responsible for bringing First Lady Michelle Obama to UTSA. One day, Mayor, I know you've been visiting the White House some. One day, you're going to live there. 
So let's bring the guy who's done so much for our city and our state, Mayor Castro. Thank you. Thank you very much. First, let me say a huge thank you, uh, Dr. Romo, for your excellent leadership here at UTSA. You guys got a great president, huh? Uh, without your leadership, today wouldn't be possible, and the stellar success that the university has seen in the last decade and a half wouldn't be possible. There's so much to be proud of here at UTSA. I also want to thank all of the faculty, the staff, I saw the admissions office folks here a little while ago for hosting us. Let's say thank you to UTSA. Thank you all. I also want to just take a minute to, to, to congratulate and thank the folks who helped make this possible. And I know I'm going to commit the cardinal sin of people in politics, which is to leave somebody out. Uh, but let me just say first a big thank you to all of the folks at Cafe College. Are they here? Thank you all to all of the folks at Cafe College. Uh, I want to thank SA2020 and their staff. I want to thank the P16 Plus and the P20 councils. Thank you all for your work. And I want to say a huge thank you as well to all of the sponsoring organizations. Let's thank them for sponsoring College Week. All of the nonprofits as well, like Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and others who have been supportive of this city year. Uh, and I want to say a huge thanks to all of the colleges and universities in San Antonio that I know y'all are going to go to, whether it's UTSA. I know we have some folks going to Trinity. We have some folks headed toward A&M San Antonio. We got some folks going to the Alamo Colleges and St. Mary's and Our Lady of the Lake. And we got some folks going outside of the city, I know, to Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, and UT Austin. and A&M College Station. Yeah. All right, and if, and if I listed all of them, we'd be here forever. So let me just say, let me just, let me just say why we're here. First and foremost, we're here because we want to celebrate your success. We care about you, and we believe that y'all are role models for your younger brothers and sisters and for younger folks in our community because you have worked hard from pre-K to 12th grade to get to the moment in your life that you're at now. All your life you've heard about college and now you're on the doorstep of it. You've achieved one of your dreams and we wanted to be here today above everything else to tell you how much we love you and care about you and to congratulate you for that. You deserve it. And secondly, we're here today because San Antonio has a very strong vision of what we're building in our town. We're building a brain power community that is the liveliest city in the United States. And a couple of years ago, Folks from around the city got together and they said, you know what, the number one thing that we need to focus on in this city is improving educational achievement. And so we set a vision that San Antonio would achieve the greatest turnaround in educational achievement that any city has achieved in a decade. And we set a goal that 80% of our graduating seniors would go on to college. And I can't tell you, I can't tell you how happy it makes me to see all of y'all living up to the dream that we have for our community. 
We understand also that San Antonio plays a role in our national prosperity and future. The fact is that in a couple of years, when y'all walk the stage and receive your college degree, that's going to be a fantastic moment of victory for you and for your family. It's also going to be a great moment for our city and for our nation. President Obama has set out a North Star initiative that says we want the United States again by the year 2020 to lead the world in the number of college graduates that it produces. And if we're going to reach that goal, you are the answer to that. You are the hope for that. So I'm here today with my wife, Erica, and with my brother, Joaquin. Joaquin's somewhere over here. I guess I should say Congressman Castro, except uh, he always introduces me as the uglier twin. So, uh, And I'm also here with my mother, Rosie. She's somewhere around here. And I, let me just take two minutes to tell you that that Joaquin and I were very blessed in 1992 to graduate from Jefferson High School and then get to go to college. We, we graduated and I remember that we took off for California on Wednesday, September 23rd, 1992. And we had never seen the campus. And the reason we were able to go there, we were growing up with our mother and our grandmother, was that we got scholarships and we took out some loans to be able to afford it. And my father bought us, I think, the cheapest airline ticket that you can get on Southwest, because it stopped in El Paso, LA, and then San Francisco. And we literally cried halfway to El Paso. In fact, the Southwest Airlines attendant had to bring us these, those napkins from Southwest Airlines that are all hard and tear up your eyes, because we had never really been away from home. But what we found, what I found in life, is that oftentimes we build up the next stage in life, whether it's going from middle school to high school or high school to college or college to grad school or the working world. And what we found was that college was a little bit harder than what we had experienced in high school. But it wasn't so much harder that we couldn't handle it. And I hope if you remember anything from today as y'all get ready to start college, it's that you should have every single reason to be confident that if you keep on doing what you're doing, if you believe in yourself enough to do the work, to study, to pay attention to school, there's every single reason to believe that you're going to do well in college just like you do well in high school. Always believe in yourself. Because if you believe in yourself, you can get through any next stage in life. The other thing I learned in my first year of college was that you have to be who you are. I remember the first party that I ever went to in college. And I remember it because uh, I didn't drink. I, I still don't drink. I, I have never started drinking in my life. But, but at this party, they had a keg, and they had these solo cups. You know the red plastic solo cups that you, you see? And they had this stack of solo cups stacked up. And I remember that, that I felt so odd because everybody was drinking. And so I went and got a red Solo cup. And then I went to a restroom and I filled it with water. <laughs> and I walked around all night at that party pretending like I was sipping beer or whatever they were drinking. And that was the only time that I ever did that. Because the fact is that you'll find that the people in your life that are worth 
being friends with and spending time with are the people who can accept you for who you are. And when you can believe in yourself and accept yourself on your own terms, other people can accept you on your terms as well. And so y'all are going into a world of a little bit more peer pressure, sometimes expectations to go along with the crowd. Don't ever be somebody that you're not. Be yourself, and others will be who they are too. And you will find the people in life who truly care about you for who you are. And so I just wanted to come here today and on behalf of all of San Antonio, I want to say congratulations. Thank you for all the hard work that you've done. Y'all are our hope in this community for a greater future. We're going to welcome the First Lady in just a little while. I hope y'all give her a great San Antonio welcome. And always remember that whether you come here to UTSA or you go out to UT or you go to, to Stanford or you go to Notre Dame or wherever you go, that there's always a place in our heart here in San Antonio for you. And we hope that you always stay. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, our mayor, Julian Castro. Mr. Mayor, Dr. Ricardo Romo, if you guys could both come down here, we want to do a mock commitment ceremony. We'd like to welcome all of our city councilmen that are here, our state representatives. Please come out to the floor right now. Nicely done. Can we also give it up for the UTSA band? That's right. They sound great. Come on. If we can, get our city and state representatives over here as well. We're going to kind of walk you through the commitment signing because that's really why you're here, to show us that you commit to, go to, and complete college, yeah? <laughs> Mr. Mayor. Oh, we're gonna need you over and, here. And President Romo. Why don't you come over here with me? Right in here. I she just asked if we were gonna make him do the dizzy bat race. I Surprise! Actually... Welcome, we're doing the Cupid Shuffle! No? All right. That was early. Y'all were ready. I like that. So, just so that you know, within your sections are these giant boards, right? And on them they say, I commit to attend and complete college, right? There are markers in your stance. a and I've seen that you've already had your sign. Would you show them to us, our Lady of the Lake Awesome St. Mary's? I know you've got your sign as well. Show them. Here's what I want you to do, my friends. I want you to sign your names to this throughout the rest of it. We're gonna be calling you out. We're gonna make sure you got your sign, yeah? But before we get started, Mr. Mayor, would you care to lead us in what will happen later with the First Lady? Right now, we're just gonna show you what it means to commit, yeah? All right, are y'all ready to commit? We all understand the importance of commitment and committing to excellence and to not just going to college, but to completing it. So uh, repeat after me. I believe in myself and my future. I commit to enroll in college. I commit to persevere when I get there. I commit to graduate. And no matter, what, no matter what, I commit to always reach higher, reach higher. For, myself, for myself, for my family, for my family. and for my community. Yes, Thank well, you all very well much. Done. So, well done. If I can, here's what's going to happen, my friends. Here's markers. I, there's markers, there's radios, whatever. Um, if you will sign your names here and show how you committed to and completed college, 
You will be doing this throughout the rest of the day. Guys, that's what we call a practice run, right? Because I heard you, you were trying, but that's a practice run. Because I'm gonna need a little bit more energy when the first lady runs us through that a little bit later on, yeah? So we're gonna do it later with first lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, right now. Can we please give a huge college spirit yell to our city and state representatives, ladies and gentlemen! That was good. I'll give you that. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. We're gonna take a tiny bit of a break. The adult, this is when the adults get bored. So we're gonna have a tiny break. We're gonna play some more games. We're gonna pit universities and colleges against each other. I think we may have to do like an inner SAC, Northwest Vista, like let's pit those together. We'll do some Alamo colleges. We'll just get them all together. All right, I like that. Um, we might have to do some UTA and M action. Um, we also, we, nicely done. I like that. Did I PS? I'm so sorry. Tamu Corpus Christi, Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Are y'all up there? I went to y'all. Islanders. Hey, real quick. I just want to say we might also pit St. Mary's against UIW. Uh oh. Yes. Look at this. What? Look at this. I am so selling that on eBay. Give it up for all of our officials that are out here with us today celebrating you guys. I'm gonna take this. Don't forget, we're going to be signing your commitment cards here, guys. We want you to sign them. We want to know that you commit. And now, Dizzy Bat Race with City Council representatives. Yes, get the bats! I totally get it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for showing your commitment to the students as well. Warm welcome! <laughs> 